let me sleep in her bed last night. She's warm for a snake lady. That's great. She's gonna help me take a bath now. You should come join us too. What? Uh, I couldn't. It's okay, I don't mind at all. Um, I... Hey, Kamalana, did you know? Dial started to grow a brand new tail. Wow, really? I want to see? He's up at the observation tower. Let's go see! Modessa, you too! Uh, all right. But don't run, or you'll trip. <sighs> Thanks, Eleanor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Having some girl trouble, my little Malik? I'm just glad Kamawana and Medissa are starting to feel better. Yeah, they both still have a long way to go, but it's such a relief to see them smiling. We've got bigger things to worry about. Hurry up and locate the next Earth Pulse point. Right, okay. Must you always be so blunt, Velvet? I must, in fact. We're up against the Abbey here, and sooner or later they'll find this place. That's true, but still... Do we go find another hideout? No, we'll keep on the offensive. We'll capture the remaining Therians before the Abbey finds us. As a swordsman, I can respect that mindset. I'm not so sure we could hold this place anyway. And we've got no obligation to. I found another Earth Pulse point. It's in the eastern part of East Gand, I think. But that's... All right. We're headed for East Gand. Then our first stop should be Port Taliesin. Grimoire always looks like she never wants to do any work, but despite all her grumbling, when she starts a job, she gets it done. And quickly, too. She's frank, but she still takes care not to say anything to hurt anyone's feelings. I have to say, I, I like that in a woman. It's charming. Well, sorry if I'm inconsiderate and charmless then. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. You're all still so young and have led different lives. Can't fault you for being you. Well, if you're saying we lack a certain air of maturity, I might not 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 disagree. That's for sure. It's true Lord Artorius has scolded my lack of composure at times. Although I do get the impression that Grimoire has been dependable like that since she was young. And it's a good impression at that. Old Grim's been that way since the day she was born. I hate to admit it, but her combination of insightful words and deadpan expression has charmed the hearts of many a Moloch. At her peak, she had a fan club 8,848 members strong, and her dinner shows would sell out the day the tickets went on sale. Malakim came by the droves to doze off listening to her live readings of ancient books. Wow! I had no idea she was so popular. Yeah, she's even a regular feature in Who's Who Among Norman. Now that I think about it, I could see how a person could interpret her lethargy as patience and her vague dispassion as maturity and poise. Compared to her, I'm just... <sighs> Were you just trying to imitate her? <sighs> no, I didn't mean to. Whether you meant to or not, that kind of felt like her just now. I can see it in you, waiting to be awakened. That sophisticated charm. Me? Sophisticated and charming? I don't know. Try talking like her. You know how she lets her sentences trail off. This is your make-or-break moment here. Uh, all right. I think I know what you mean. Here goes nothing. Oh. What do you think, Laffy said? Do I sound like her? It feels a little off, but you're definitely doing it, I think. Aw, uh, you don't have to grow up, Madame Eleanor! You're cute just the way you are! Uh, you stay out of this, Bianfu! When mankind's despair reaches its pinnacle, Inomi not shall reach out and bring an end to all. So that song bothers you too? No matter how many times I read it, I don't see any good in it. Understanding that ancient tongue is difficult, right? 
Perhaps there's another interpretation? Maybe the end to all actually means an end to all human suffering, for example. That is a possibility. But we're far too lacking in material to know anything for sure. We need the other half of that book, or some other text on the Nominat. We don't have the time to search for it. Wouldn't even know where to start looking. And don't forget that that book is just a copy. Whoever transcribed it might have made an error, too. That's an unexpectedly sharp insight coming from you. I'm an expert at errors. When Miss Mogilu made me copy magic tomes for her, I did it pretty half-heartedly. Didn't that cause a lot of problems? Well, when she tried to cast a spell from one of the tomes, the spell exploded in her face. It's really her own fault, though. She told me to copy 100 books in three days! That's impossible! Oh, how cruel. Cruel is right! That witch is a real devil, I tell you! A slave driver! Bien Fu, let's go somewhere a little more private, shall we? <laughs> Miss Mogilu! Hush now. There's no need to worry. I'll make it a half-hearted punishment. <laughs> Not that I really care, but who ended up winning the fishing competition when we were trying to catch a Therian? Man, that was a while ago. I lost because I came away with nothing. No, it was a draw. As I'm sure everyone remembers, all I fished up were octopus demons. We were competing over who would catch the Therian. Demons didn't count, so my score was 0-2. No, the loss is mine and I'm not giving it to you. That's not just something you can up and decide like that. In fact, by fishing up those octopus demons, I put everyone in danger. That should count for negative points. I lost. Who cares? It was all in fun. I care. Every competition must have a winner and a loser, no matter what. That's just how I see it. Yeah, I'm with Eisen on this one. It doesn't do anyone any good to make the final results murky. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Eisen, your curse would mean that the odds were stacked against you from the start. That doesn't make for a fair competition, does it? Yeah, she's got a good point. We'll just have to settle the score some other way. What can you guys do? Play cards? Chess? What? Cards are a no-go for me. I'll just end up drawing jokers. And I can play shogi, but I don't know chess. Then what about arm wrestling? Would that work? Whoa, whoa! Having a demon and a Moloch clasp hands is just asking for trouble with malevolence. You're both adults, so why not a drinking contest? That's it! If we have a drinking contest, we'll be able to compete on an even playing field. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. I'll have the crew bring out the drinks. Well, that's one way of resolving it, I suppose. Whatever gets it done, I'm not gonna complain. If you guys are gonna have a drinking contest, you're gonna need some tasty snacks to go with all that alcohol, right? Definitely! Let's go out and fish us some snacks. Yeah, let's take out the little boat. We can even pick up where we left off our fishing competition. Didn't we just figure out he can't really fish? Ugh, we were just about to finally resolve this mess. Why'd you have to go and stick your nose into it? What? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> Do you think Dial sheds his skin like other reptiles? I don't know. On the outside, he looks like an Emir monitor lizard. But he used to be a human and is a demon now, so... I kind of doubt it. Oh! My ears are burning red hot right now! Were you guys talking about me? Yeah, we were! 
So, Dial, do you ever shed your skin? I'm really curious. Tell me, tell me. That's a little rude to just ask someone, don't you think? You do, don't you? I mean, you are a lizard. No, I don't. Aww. I think you'd be way cooler if you did. Well, he's regrown his tail before. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. Lizards can regrow their tails. That must mean you really do shed, right? No, those are two totally different things. Although, I did get a bad enough sunburn yesterday that my skin started to peel. Maybe that counts. <laughs> Hey, get this. I was out fishing the other day, when before I knew it, I'd wound up near a Class 4 island. Once I realized what was happening, I tried to turn the ship around, but then it got dark all around me. Was it a sudden storm? I wish. It was this great monstrous bird. Damn thing had wings big enough to cover up the whole blasted sky. That sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. You think I'm lying? Then check it out for yourself just might not make it back alive. A huge bird. Hmm. This island's really something. No way I'd want to go to prison here, but it'd make a great hideout. If I'm going to be left in charge of this place, I'll turn it into the best hideout ever. You're in charge? Someone has to look after this place while you're all running around, maintaining the ships in the base, watching the Prince and Medissa, keeping Kamoana company. I'll keep this place running ship shape so that you all can focus on looking for the Therians. But those are just odd jobs anyone can do. You're a navigator. Isn't that a waste of your talents? You dolt! These are important tasks. Someone's gotta do it. We've got another navigator. But is there anyone besides me that could handle all of this by themselves? Besides, ever since I lost my tail, my balance has been off. The seasickness is killing me. That's your story and you're sticking to it? Tell the truth. You don't want to come because you're afraid you'll be hurt again. Uh, no. That's not it at all. <laughs> First mate, sir, I heard an interesting rumor. Apparently Vortigern came under attack in the middle of reconstruction. The place was completely sacked. Are you serious? Any idea who did it? They say it was a single demon. He called himself Lancelot de Capulus and challenged one exorcist in particular to come try and fight him. Lancelot. That's Count Capulus's first name. The nobleman they say was kidnapped? Did he turn into a demon? Or is this some kind of scheme? Hey. Any chance you know if the exorcist he wants to fight is Shigure? Yeah, he seeks a duel with Legate Shigure Rangetsu, or so the rumor goes. That's the real Count. That's a bit of a leap. The Count is a prideful man, but when the Abbey stole his political power, 
his own former servant Shikure rose to Legate and suddenly outranked him. The disgrace must have been worse than death. Then the lord your family used to serve was... That's right. The Kapaloozes. Then, if the Kapaloozes were the royal family's hidden dagger, the Rangetsu clan was its blade. A demon that can wipe out Vortigern is no joke. If we could team up with him, that'd give us a real edge. That's a real big if for some of us, Aizen. <sighs> I see you've come, Shigure. Count Kapalus. It's been a long time. Oh, wait. Is that you, Rokuro? Leave now. You are not the one who I summoned here. I want your brother, the traitor Shigure. Sir, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Shigure's execution was assigned to me. Ha! <laughs> oh, please. Don't make me laugh. You had your chance. You couldn't even scratch him, you wretched dog. <clears throat> Frankly, I don't need any Rangetsu to do my bidding any longer. Not with the power that I've attained by devouring everyone in the entire manner. I shall administer your punishments myself, with my own hand. You're the one who devoured the people at the manor? How could you do that? <laughs> I never knew humans were so delicious. After I make a meal of you and the rest of those damnable exorcists, this will be my kingdom. My feeding ground! Welp, it looks like the only thing that got abducted was this guy's conscience. Remain there, Rokuro. Your lord commands you! <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait and be thankful that your blood will stain my blade beside your brother's. There's no reasoning with this guy. Wait. Rokuro? I refuse. If you simply wanted to eat flesh, then perhaps I wouldn't stop you. But dying to you would make a mockery of the Rangetsu name. Turn your blade on me or my brother and we won't hold back. Not even against an impotent lord. You! How dare you speak to your master like that! You this fur has fangs he's all too happy to use. Sorry. I know you were hoping to negotiate an alliance. Don't worry. I don't think he's someone we could fight alongside. Come on, Rokuro. You wanted to kill him from the very start, didn't you? No. Well, maybe a little. So you did want to. You're a pretty scary guy when push comes to shove. Whatever happened to honoring your ancestral debt? I don't think I'm a hypocrite. My debt was made when I was human. 
that has nothing to do with the demon I am now. That's how you really look at it? I do. I incurred my debt toward you after I became a demon, and you can count on me to repay it. I'll take your word for it, then. But, Rokuro, when the Count said he was going to kill Lord Shigure, was that really something impossible to forgive? Hmm. How do I say it? I will kill anyone who disparages Arangetsu's skill. That's all. Ah, that's just nonsense. I'm sure I sound like the Count. I won't ask you to understand. Of course I don't understand. But still... I don't think it's nonsense. There are just some things a person can't surrender. So you've kept your sense of taste. In my dreams I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all... I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... How could I ever? Looks like the fog's rolling in. Yep. Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. Um, alright. What is it? Luffy said is not your little Moloch. What? That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy sets his own person, and not anyone else's. Y you're right. Malakim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. I'll be more careful not to forget that. Good, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I'd break? No. I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. The fog's cleared. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very good at shameless roguery. Damn straight. But it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog.
Like a castle. This used to be the base of operations for a rich trading family. When trouble came knocking, they were ready for it, to say the least. Wow! They must have had a lot of enemies. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Then... the Therian is... Yeah, somewhere in my village. Is that okay? No one will know me there. Everyone I knew, I already devoured. I just love the feel of the sun on my face. I'm glad the fog finally cleared up. For days it was so thick, you couldn't see past your own nose. We're lucky a demon didn't show up in all that fog. Hmm? Iskan hasn't had much demon trouble to speak of. Didn't you know that? During the advent, towns all across Iskan were attacked by demons. It was Lord Artorius who saved us. Ever since, our towns have seen almost no demon attacks. Is that true? Oh, pardon me, Lady Exorcist. But if you're with the Abbey, surely you've heard about how things are here in Eastgand. Of course, demons are lurking about outside our towns. But for whatever reason, they don't attack us where we live. That sounds unbelievable. Everyone who visits us from abroad says the same thing. But this is neither joke nor lie. Everyone says that Lord Artorius's power lingers here, protecting our town against the demons. Whatever the reason, you're safe here. Relax, and please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. We appreciate it. Why do demons avoid these towns? Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah. I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in Eastgand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in Northgand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to East Gand. Of course, I know there's no way that would happen. <laughs> You're travelers, right? How are other towns doing? Is the demon blight as bad as they say? Demons are attacking cities all the world over, and the demon blight is spreading like wildfire! It's nuts! That's terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Yeah, this town's the same as it's always been. You've been here before? Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. The prickle boar meat. The prickle boar meat? Yep, it's gotten much easier to get your hands on high quality tasty meat. The hunters are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. 
Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun. A town without demons. Hmm. Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the malevolence. What do you think? That would certainly explain things. Ah, oh, damn! I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. I missed out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. You'd think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a ball. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin! What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. It can't be. It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some juicy prickle bore meat in return. That can't be right. I, with my own hand, I... Velvet? Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map, but it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Do you think a new group of settlers moved in? Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorius having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse Point? I can't say. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. Oh. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. what this town's known for. Answer, stairs. Yeah, I've never seen this many stairs before in my life. You're close to the sea and the weather is beautiful and everything, but doesn't all this climbing make life here hard? Not at all. I walked the stairs here since I was a child. A little climb like this is nothing. Everyone raised here has a strong set of legs and a sturdy back. You couldn't turn a profit selling back medicine here. No way, no how. in a ball sure was fun, wasn't it? It sure was. What a cheerful and happy place. And the food was amazing. I'd love to go back sometime. I loved the prickle boar meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good. It was a master quiche. This Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's Fisherman Festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from a ball a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish, it's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. Nikos. Kish.
how can I get Nico to like me? Oh, maybe I should start by winning over those two dogs of hers. Give it up. Those mutts are cute, but are total wimps. They'd book it long before you were in petting range. But their owner is so... no nonsense. Exactly! That's the best part about her. Pet dogs. No nonsense. Named Nico. Yeah, well, she's already got a fiancé. Really? Give it up. Didn't she say she won't get married until her friend comes back? Oh, I wonder if she really means it. Maybe she just spread that rumor so that weirdos won't try to hit on her. <laughs> yeah, if I were her, I'd hate it if a weirdo like you got anywhere near me. Hey, I'm not a weirdo. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Can it really be Nico? Nico's not still alive. She can't be. just have to go there and see for ourselves. Which way is your village? It's far to the east, through the Morgana woods. I wonder what Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place, and it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, I imagine she was a plain, hardworking girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Hmm. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost?
Say, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to Anominoth, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book! Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. Huh. I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment... I'm just offering a theory. But a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse Point, too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The worship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> Hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. 
Boys! Come on, 
Couldn't be true. You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. You're alive. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry, I. I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. I have to let everyone know the good news. You finally come back to us. Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, naturally, we've got a Reaper with us. Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 